This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers! Baldemar back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, we finally made our way down the highway, and, and well, after destroying many riot police and the JDF, we finally made a, a clean getaway and made it to Yokohama, so we could find either a way to cross the sea or travel to our next destination to meet Emma's contacts. But either way, we continue on and see where we go. Oh, and off screen, I redid the last couple of fights, got S ranks on all of them. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the S ranks, a lot of the times, I. I slightly changed my method from before, but a lot of it was just getting better hits or the percentages going your way. So, in some of the earlier ones, yeah, sometimes it's just a case of percentages not working with you. But uh, um, get S ranks did not get me uh, did not get me actual mechs on those two fights. It just gave me extra money for when I do decide to customize my uh, mechs later on. I'll have a, a few more options because of the money. But that's pretty much it. I didn't get. You don't get any extra mechs for S ranking both of those, so. It's always a mess here. Anybody here? Kazuki, Ryogo, what did you guys do? Huh? What? Something wrong? You guys are all over the news! Well, I that shouldn't be a surprise. We did attack we did attack the JDF despite our despite the original reasoning behind it, so turn up the volume. The suspects of the Yokozuka Yozuka Yokozuka Yosaka I, I used I, I, I knew how to pronounce it and all of a sudden it just jumped out of my head. Yokozuka Bay's explosion are still on the run. The suspect's names are uh, Kazuki Takamura and Ryogo Kusama. Kusama. They're armed with Vonzers and considered dangerous. <laughs> We're criminals now? What about the JDF? Why are we the ones being blamed? They're making you scapegoats. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. They're all in on this? <laughs> They'll catch us eventually. I'm going to join my party and leave Japan to investigate the accident. Well, you're just going to leave us behind? Oh, never mind then. Why don't you come with me? You're asking us to leave Japan? You'll be captured here. I don't reveal the truth about the accident to prove your innocence. How's that exactly? Maybe better than being getting captured. Yeah, being forced to leave your own nation just because you accidentally came across like some conspiracy by your own... Uh, I don't even know if it's the government or if it's just the JDF specifically. No. We don't know yet. You haven't given up on Alyssa, have you? Of course not. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, what did happen to her? Did she actually get hurt? Did she survive? Is she okay? Did she get captured? I'll sign you on later. Let's get out of here. Let's let's head to... Oh boy. Han Mokufudo. Han, Han Mokufudo. I'm uh, probably mispronouncing it, but whatever. Hey, you guys must have good reason. I'll give you guys a huge discount on everything. Ryogo, I'll teach you how to go choose good items. Become a wise shopper. I don't know why his voice changed. I mean, this is the only time we're going to meet this dude. So, what, is he going to tell us how to buy, sh buy your stuff? No, okay, fine. Parts purchase tutorial. Okay. Shops and setups have the same display. The list contains items sold at the shop. Produce pro product produce product list is whatever you're playing the Final Fantasy VII original translation. Uh, pro product li product list displays the price of the selected item. Okay, I see that. The information updates are equipped items. The information updates as item equipped items are changed, just like in a setup. Man, what's wrong with me today? I'm having trouble speaking. When purchasing the uh, the equipped part can be stored or traded in. Okay. Buy an equipped equips the new part and sucks the used part. Buy and stock. Okay. Equipped after sale trades in the used part, then equips the new part. Okay. 
buying stock, buys the part, and then stocks it so you don't need to equip it, you save it later. Equipped after sale sometimes allows a player to buy an item that costs more than the available funds because you sell it at the same time. Gotcha. Press the LMR1 trigger to so switch the list. Okay. Stock list, equipped list, and setup are all displayed. Follow the same steps and setup to equip or switch parts. Well, we're really starting to get in the meat of this game. We're only so many, so many battles in, too. This game does have quite a few battles. Worry not, but we're going to be playing this for a bit longer. Not all shops carry all parts and items. Some shops only sell items. That's all for this section. Let's return to the first game. Okay. If they have it available, I definitely want to start buying shields for my dudes, or at least Ryogo and Emma. I'll just give you a simple upgrade. I'll raise your HP. And I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, his voice keeps changing. <laughs> and like I said, we're probably not going to see him again, so it doesn't really matter how continuity-wise works here. How to upgrade. First select equipped parts or stock parts. Let's select equipped parts. Okay. I mean, we could figure this out eventually, but the game's forcing us. It's not like I could have chosen to opt out of it. It's just, nope. The body, arms, legs can all be modified by HP upgrades. HP upgrade raises HP. Parts with higher HP inflict greater damage. Okay. Currently, the body is not modified for HP. The cursor shows the pre present upgrade level. Higher upgrades are listed, if available. The list shows the cost of upgrading. Yeah, level 1 or level 2. Level 1 upgrade raises the HP and nothing else. Level 2 upgrades the HP and even more, but also costs more. Right. Press X to open the menu. Select upgrade to upgrade and select the level. Okay. Follow the same steps for upgrading stock parts. Do you have to show us that? The only difference is instead of the machine list, stock list is displayed. That's all for this section. Maybe pretty straightforward. Well, for a game for a game like the Front Mission series, that can I wouldn't say it gets complicated, but you can do some interesting things with your mech if you know how to do it. I guess they have to tutorialize it like this. So. Don't forget to resupply frequently, even if there isn't a shop in town. There's always the network. True. Yeah, you can go to the network and uh, buy stuff too. It doesn't have all the stuff available, and sometimes they'll have backlog of stuff that you could have before. But all right, I guess before we move on, let's talk to everyone. Let's see how they feel about things. What's up? Let's get out of here. Riveting. Okay, nothing there. Emma? Your innocence will be proven. Be patient. Innocence will be... Oh, right. Okay. How long will it take to prove our innocence? A long time. Shouldn't you try talking to police? You can't. Maybe when the time comes. Okay, then take this with you. What's this? It has the police web address. Maybe it'll help. Thanks. Don't do anything stupid. Be careful, okay? And now if we go to the network, I think it unlocks that little area. So we can move out. Let's look what our buying options are before we leave today, just to see what options we have. All right, no body types optional, right? Looks like this place really doesn't have much right now. Now we do have uh, backpack options. See, if I if I forego capacity for at least at this point, if I forego a capacity backpack, I could get an additional powers backpack, which would give me more melee damage. I think it also gives you something else for, but that's the big feature right there. Let's see. It also increases your weight, obviously. I think I remember when I played this game, I think I forgo the capacity for for Kazuki for power because of me using his uh, fist, uh, for me using melee a lot with him to try and get those uh, double assaults on air going and stuff like that. But I might hold off onto that right now. Let me see what our hand options are. Okay, got the bone buster. I do definitely want to start looking into shields at some point. I may go ahead and buy one for at least uh, Ryogo and just take the risk for what we got here. Any shoulder items right now? Yeah, okay. And right hand is just the 
flip switch of that. Yeah, can't buy any. Let's see what items we can buy. Let's see, shield repair, other types of repair. I got plenty of money. I'm just, it's one of those things where I'm always, because of the way that the. Let's see, no new computers right now. And here we can, uh. We can uh, set some stuff here, but nothing right now. It really looks like my only, uh. I got quite a few options there. Okay. Well, for now. I want to go ahead and buy, let's see, should have the, uh... Oops, nope, that's not what I want to buy, weapon. The right hand. That will raise his weight... ...a bit. But I don't really use melee with him anyway. Uh, his AP goes down by one, though, if I do that, though, because of his weight. Well, that's not a big, big loss, really. Yeah, I'll buy a, uh, an MK shield for him. And I'll buy one for Emma, because just in case if she gets ganged up on. Let's see, where's Emma? At least for now, anyway. I could buy her a weapon. That does increase her weight quite a bit when I do that, though. Emma's one of those weird, weird builds because of her shoulder weapon. You can remove that and just, like, swap around. You really could just swap everyone completely around if you really wanted to. You can make Emma a shot. You can make Emma the shotgun hand splash if you want to, but because of how many skills you've earned up to this point, you almost want to just keep focusing with what they are, with maybe slight changes, so... I think... Yeah, I think the shield's the only thing I want to do right now. I'm just a... I kind of want to give her a weapon, just to have an, another option, like, just in case if she runs out of gear. I just... Don't want to... Let's see... Shield reduces the rate of I want. How about a Bone Buster? wouldn't hurt if someone gets close to her, though. And it won't raise her weight that much. Yeah, I think I'm going to give her a melee weapon just in case. I mean, it shouldn't come to this at all, but... Um, yeah, her AP doesn't go down that much. That's really a weight. I mean, she's got plenty of weight. I'm just... Yeah, I think I'm going to give her a uh, melee, just in case. Like, just in case if it comes to that. It shouldn't, but... And we got plenty of money. We can't sell those mechs that we got if it really comes down to it. Okay, right. Yeah, do we need to upgrade? This episode might be a bit longer, just because I'm going to actually, you know... Let me see what my options are. Really... Kazuki, well, since Kazuki is supposed to be my tank, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad idea to give him some minor upgrades, maybe to at least his arm. Let's see, we only get one level right now, and it's only cost 50. And we don't have an, an, an accuracy upgrade. Really, because weapons are his big thing, I, I think I want to... I think I want to do that. Yeah, okay. Just give him slightly better HP, at least for the limbs. Nothing huge. Okay, well, actually, let me go back and answer. Okay. And then for Emma, same thing, except I don't need both firearms to be high. I think... Let's see. Yeah, she could probably use a body upgrade. Do we, can we... I, and really the arm that has her, uh... Um... Uh... That has her, uh... That has her quit her shoulder weapon just because if it if it gets destroyed, she's kind of sol'd. You know. Actually, might as well upgrade his shield arm that I gave him now, since it's only fifty. So I'll do that with his other arm too. I don't think I need to upgrade all my parts. I like I said, I have the money, but I think I I'm fine with how it is. So. Uh, 
Okay. Well, if I if I if I really have an issue, I, I have a save spot before this point, and I can back up if I really need to. But uh, it should be fine. All right. So we're now going to Hana Han Moko Futo. Good. I, I'm gonna yes, yeah, so all these Japanese names. That's uh, awesome. There. I always have a. <laughs> Well, then again, I, I guess I don't really speak my own language that well either, so. But yeah, it looks like uh, Kazuki and Ryoga are going to be forced to leave Japan to prove their innocence on a worldwide journey of, of discovery. Or not, it could be just as easy as just talking to the right people. Whoa! Dude, cat delivery, come down. Hey, watch it! Are you crazy? Uh-oh, this ain't good. Looks like the cat's out of the bag now. Figuratively. I'm not going to say literally because I know what it actually means. Get out of here! Uh oh. Back up! They're firing in the city! Are they crazy? More JDF, it looks like. Those are your targets. Remember, I want them alive. Acknowledged! Uh oh. Looks like men <laughs> the men in black? What, Tommy Lee Jones and uh, and uh, Will Smith are going to pop up? They're not kidding around. You idiots! Do you know what combat will do to this place? What's wrong, Kazuki? Start out the Vanza. Kazuki, you can contemplate about the world after we win. Yeah, true. Let's survive first, and then we can deal with that. Damn, I guess we have to fight. Yeah, there you go. All right, come on, Kazuki. Don't be such a wuss. I, I get I get you don't want to hurt civilians, but uh, sometimes saving your own skin is for the best. All right, time for battle against the JD. I think they're JDF. So let's look at our surroundings. Ooh, looks like we got a lot of not so much cover per se, but a lot of uh, a lot of uh, blocking spots, or at least for ammo. We got trees everywhere, high platforming for accuracy. A lot of options here, but looks like they're kind of trying to keep us it in, so, alright, we'll just have to worry with that, so, okay, let's look at our uh, enemies, shall we? Alright, we got some Kazal M2s, decent HP all around, let's see, looks like this is a melee unit, so, is that a fist? Yeah, it's a fist, uh, just a heavyweight fist, so, don't want to get in close if we can help it. What's the pilot? Ooh, question mark, the men in black indeed, no ace rank, melee at A, so nothing too crazy. I think they're all like that, if I remember correctly. Let me take a look at that guy just to be sure. Yep, same thing. I keep trying. I keep trying to use my analog six, but this is a PS1 game. It doesn't use analog. Okay, the, uh, some Jinko MK 110s with the upgraded machine gun. Uh, no, really high melee, so doesn't get extra damage or activation because of that. Looks like that's our only option, so, okay. And two, oh, we got some, uh, um, guard vehicles as well. Okay. Let's see. How do we want to handle this? Uh, switch to the quill. Okay, probably want to hit the meleeers with, the uh, or with, the um, Emma. Of course, I could hit the vehicles. Although they're probably not the biggest threat as as these guys are, so and the melee does do initially more damage than uh, uh, regular weapons do. So let's target them. So, oh nice, got an ability activated. That's good. Ooh, right to the gizzard or the face, whatever. Yeah. I only need one XP times two. I'd rather get the pilot damage because that can com combo better. I can't wait till we get better co uh, co computer skills, so we can actually start active uh, uh, adding more skills to the list. So, okay, these guys have a movement range of. Does it actually say in their thing? I don't think it does actually. Oh, there it is, six. Okay, so six would mean. I think it's a pretty decent move range. Nuts. Okay. How about you, re uh... I do need you to move, because you're, otherwise you're going to be blocked. 
Would that be good for you? Nothing is flat. Nothing's restricting him. Well, sort of. The trees slightly modify his uh, um, his uh, percentages, but not by a whole lot because it's not huge. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try for it. Not too bad, even exchange, I think. Yeah, the problem is with Kazuki, because of his range, I have to kind of be a bit uh, more wary about how he, uh... Because I'm afraid of the melee guy is going after him. Nice. First, ma first round, not too bad. I can accept that. Uh-oh, gotta move in for close damage, huh? Well, if you're gonna do that, you gotta go with melee. I mean, the shotgun's probably better. Oh, a double saw. Yes! I already have an allotment before, but... Haha! <laughs> Excellent! Boom! I love this! I love double assault. It's probably one of my favorite abilities in the game. Ah! Oh, two double assaults? Oh, that is, uh, that is just awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, and a tackle? Yes! Man, see? I love it when things tie together. Oh, one round! Guy's down! Mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together. Oh man, I really wish I could just put on. <sighs> I hate to do this, but I might just leave the tackles because this this has like two double salts have a chance for four tacks, but they might not tag together as often as tackle will. But I love double salt a lot better though, because I think double salt has a slower small smaller chance of activation than Tackle does, if I remember correctly. That is a tough decision. Because basically, Double Assault gives you four, uh, two attacks instead of just the one strong one. Man. I mean, we're going to get more in the, over the course of the game, especially when we get uh, unlock computers with higher higher remains to use. So. I hate to do this, but we'll, we'll leave it as is. That was a good round. I love it. Do I want to try melee again, or do I want to go with just a shotgun this time? And let's go with Bone Buster again. That's fine. Oh, yes! Mm. Delicious! Oh, yeah. How do you feel to be, get just double-fisted, man? Okay. Well, it was only one. Still, that was better than nothing. Hey, where are you going? Huh. Okay, apparently they're running away from... Oh yeah, where are the trucks good? Oh, they're gonna run away. Uh oh. That's not good. Maybe I should start aiming with them with my um, rockets. Should have left the hammer where she was. Okay. So we got a guy we can still. Yeah, let's keep tackling that douche. Ooh, nice. Haha. All right, now how do we want to go with Ryogo? Well, I guess we'll have him assist, why not? He might finish him off. Oh, one HP? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay. I'm almost afraid to let those trucks get away, you know? But that does give that guy a turn, though. I did screw that guy up pretty badly, so. Well, at least we took out that guy before he ran away, so. Is he gonna punch me? Okay, well, if you're gonna punch me, then there's only one option. Because uh, punching a melee always goes last, so if you, if you have a chance, use your... No shotguns down up a rank, so we need to start using our fists if we want to start evening out our damage. Why are you all running away? Did you run? Oh, I ran away. Nuts. Well, we, at least we took out one of them, so there's that at least. Okay. Now let's just keep working on him. Excellent. Okay. Close enough for a, a hit. 
know, that's... And he's still melee range, so I'd rather not get that close if I could help it. Yeah, not as much damage as I'd like. When are they gonna attack us? Oh, good. Oh, good for you! Okay. I could... Oh, he's not even using his heavy. He's just using his regular fist. Huh, okay. Well, then I'll use my gun on you then. Oh, I blew up his arm. That's right. He can't use his melee. Huh. Nice. Okay. I assume he's going to use his melee on me because he actually has it. So, got to use the Odin because it goes first. Although, it won't destroy his arm, but it... There's always a chance I could double assault him. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I might need to have Emma help me with the, with that. I bet if I had destroyed that other car before it ran away, I bet it would have given me a bonus or something like that. But because it got away, I bet I kind of miss out on that. Ah, come on, man. I call, I call shenanigans there. Shenanigans. Anyway. All right. Let's take this guy out since he's the bigger issue right now. bad. Okay, I'm going to move you to the side, because I don't want to melee you if I can help it. Excellent. And yeah, let's keep do keep going with uh, countering with our weapon. Oh, Brace. Nice. This ability basically allows you to take, I think, half damage from melee attacks or something. It's not a bad ability. It's definitely worth getting if you can unlock it. You get it. I, I forgot how you get it. <laughs> Oh, nice show, Rio. Go. All right, and once again, we want to Odin him because there's always a chance I might like destroy his arm. Nuts. Although, oh, that's not good. Woo! Cutting it a little close, game. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's try. Um, probably should do it on him since he's about to. Uh, Nice. Okay, I think I want to have Ryo go finish this guy off. There we go. Okay. And then I'll have a uh, Kazuki bone crush the other dude in the submission. Excellent. All right. And then we'll finish this guy off. And he's out. I kind of hoped he'd hit him in the head, but man, whatever. All right, excellent. We win. Whew. That was a bit longer than I expected, but uh, nothing, nothing we can't handle. Yeah, I bet, I bet not destroying that cart lost us some points. I bet. We'll find out here in a second. Yeah, if we'd, uh, oh, basically eliminating those units got us a uh, a bonus. So if, if we didn't have it, all it did was just give us a bonus. So, it looks like you can do it in about four rounds, and average damage of about 47 is not enough. I guess you need bet higher, like 50 or something like that, but still platinum. All right, nice. Oh, we get another uh, unit, so let's go ahead and put it down here. All right, now we'll keep the name as is. I can change it later if I want to, but that was a really good, really good battle. I got really lucky with those, with that double salt, two double salts, man. Whew, we might. This won't be the last time we see stuff like that. Oh no! Anyway, the GDF must be out of their minds. Are they willing to sacrifice everything to get what they want? Wait, those aren't JDF. What are you talking about? They have JDF machines and symbols on. Them. Just because they wear wearing sunglasses doesn't mean they don't aren't part of that. What do you mean? Those are JDF monsters. Look. They have no markings. What are you talking about? They have markings. I see them. Also, they're on unmarked trucks, and they start a fight in the city. That's not why the JDF. What do you mean they're trying to kill us? I mean, what do we know what the JDF's like? Who cares? As far as we know, they're after us. You're right. Let's go before another fight starts in the city. Okay, we're going to straight for Han Hanmoku. All right, we survived one fight, but it looks like we might have a new enemy against us. Whew. But we can handle it.
Hell, heck, if we get double assault up the up the wazoo, we've got nothing to fear. But what is uh, uh, in store for us in Han Milku? And who are these guys that are attacking us in the black, in the black uh, sunglasses? Are they a new enemy, a secret division of the JDF, or will the rabbit hole get even deeper? Find out something next time on the next episode of Front Mission Three. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.